Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages, one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. direction he needed I have to commend the wing plate but I have to condemn the defending they've got to stop the cross balls out on the left now They're more than happy to take the muscular approach gets it upfield just brushed off the ball there It is deadlocked. Finds himself eased off the ball. Looks to bypass the midfield. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Hit into the middle. And it's played forward. Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. He's had that put on a plate. He's had a go! Well, that is rather wayward. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Forward it goes. Hoists it forward. Battles to win it back. He's had a look. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looks to thread it through. Oh, too much weight on that. And it's half time here. So now the team has broken through, but for the want of trying. 
been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. Dinamo Zagreb clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And the counter is on. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Cross deflected behind for a corner. And it's hoisted clear. Up towards the hour mark and still no goals. Pumps it into the area. Got the ball glued to his feet. That intervention was very necessary. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Well played, he saw that coming. Forward it goes. And the weighted pass. Hoists it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. And it's played forward. Plays it out to the flank. Beautifully done. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Swung over into the middle. Knocks it away. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Over to the left. Lovely feet. Looking for a decent ball in. Plays it into the box. Cleared away. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Fence has got rid of that. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Kateri. into a dangerous position. He's there to receive it. Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. Uh, the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. He's gone for goal! And the ball's come out! 
That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. It is going to need 30 more minutes.